Thank you for joining us at techmeticfix.com. We're going to show you how to change your white iPhone into a pretty pink one. So we're going to get started here. First, I'm going to get these out of the way so you don't do any damage to them. You'll need a paper clip. That is to pull your SIM card tray out. Just simply put that in and it pops right out. Put this off to the side. You're gonna get the two screws on the bottom out. This will release your back cover. Just simply take your thumb and slide up. and just pull over. All right, here we got a screw on the bottom to release your battery. That will be the first to come out. Take your screwdriver and just gently pull up to release that clip for the battery. You have this here that is holding your battery down. It is glued down. Sometimes they are a little tough to get out. So you will want a putty knife to wedge right inside here, get under it just a little, and pull up. Now you could use this little tab and the battery will come right out. Next step, you want to take out your vibrator. There are two screws here. You want to take this off next, these two screws. It's just a little back plate holding down this ribbon. simply comes right off like so. Take your screwdriver and get under it gently. Just pull on up. Now this is glued to the motherboard so be very careful that you do not rip this. Just gently pull up. We have this cover here that needs to come off. There are four screws, one right in the corner here. One here. Take the back end of your screwdriver, you will see a clip underneath here that is holding this plate on. Just simply go underneath it, pull back, and this will come right off. Okay. Next step is to take the screws off for the motherboard. You have one here, here, and right there. Set those off to the side. Take your flathead screwdriver and release your camera. Get right under the ribbon here. Just pop up very gently. You do not want to rip that. Here you have your LCD, your digitizer, and your home, your buttons on the side here. Cables. Just pop those up like so. Pull those back, these back gently. 
Here you'll want to disconnect your antenna from the motherboard. There's just a little clip on. Take your flathead and go right underneath it. Pull that back like so. You have a screw holding your docking port down right in the corner here. Simply just pull back and up. Take out your motherboard, put that in a nice safe spot. You do not want to damage that, otherwise your phone will be junk. All right, next step. Just take the adhesives that are already on this and put this down so this stays out of the way and you don't cause any damage to it. We have six screws on the side. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we have one in each corner and these are holding the screen and LCD onto the front of the phone. Now a little trick to this, you don't have to take these screws all the way off. Just pull them back and loosen them up. It'll save you a lot of time when you're reinstalling the screen. Okay, now once you get all these screws out, fold these down so they don't get caught on anything and rip. Flip the phone over, take your flathead screwdriver and start in the top right corner. Just get it under there and just start pulling up. Go along the sides. And you'll hear it start to come up from the adhesives. Just work yourself around very slowly, gently. Now take these cables in the back, straighten them out, and just pull the front screen off. Now we do have to remove the home button for this pink screen replacement because we have to put the pink home button on. So flip the phone back over and there's a little clip here holding it on. Just want to flip this up with your flathead and pull back. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. Just take your time. You don't want to rip that because it is a spare home button you could install later if one should go bad on you. Or if you ever want to go back to your white home button. Okay, get that in there. Yeah. Alright, after you get your home button installed, Next step is to put your new screen on. You want to insert these wires into the hole. Make sure your wires are through. Make sure your home button is flush here on your finger. If it's not, Take off those old adhesives and apply some new ones, but most of the time you could use the old ones. Okay, it sits nicely. Now, just go back through the video and uh, start uh, putting everything back together the way you took it apart.